All right, folks, welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into Comfy UI. We're mastering the IMG2 IMG workflow. Think total control over your image transformations. First up, we need to load our foundational models. These are the real workhorses. Think of the UNET loader. It loads the UNET model. That's the core of the diffusion process. Without a UNET, you're not making any images. So, yeah, pretty important, wouldn't you say? Okay, so we've got the basics loaded, but for the high-level control we want, we need some specialized backup. These are the secret sauce. They bring the finesse to our IMG2 IMG workflow. First on this special list is, Florence 2 is a powerhouse. It's going to look at our input image, and then it will automatically generate a descriptive prompt. Saves a ton of time. Then we have the, this one is all about identity. You want to put a specific face onto a new image? This is how you do it. It's trained to recognize and encode facial features. And to tie some of these controls together, we use the... InfuseNet is designed for control generation. It ensures everything works in harmony. Now let's talk about the fuel for this AI engine. We need images. Not just one, but three specific input images. Each one has a very distinct and important job. First, the main star, the image to transform. This is your canvas. It's the picture you want to change, to remix, to reimagine. The quality of this image matters. A clear, well-defined base gives the AI more to work with. Next up is the reference face image. This one is crucial for identity control. The will analyze this image. It will extract the unique facial features. Lastly, we need the control pose image. This image dictates the pose of the character in your output. It could be a simple sketch. The system will extract the pose information from this. Super powerful for artists. Section 4. Let Florence 2 do the talking. Automatic prompt generation. Manually writing prompts can be a drag sometimes. You stare at the screen, you wonder, what words will get me the result I want? Well guess what? Florence 2 is here to help. Automatic prompt generation is a total game changer. It saves you serious time. And it can give you creative ideas you hadn't even thought of. It's like having an AI assistant for your prompts. So, how does this magic work? That node we talked about, it gets to work on your image to transform. Florence 2 analyzes the visual content of that image. It looks at the objects, the scene, the style. It tries to understand what it's seeing. The output from Florence 2 is a text prompt, a nice detailed description of your input image. This generated prompt then gets piped into the clip model. Remember clip? It translates that text into something the UNET can understand. So, Florence 2 describes, clip interprets. This gives the AI a solid, context-aware starting point for the IMG2 IMG process. You can take that automatically generated prompt and add your own flair. It's the best of both worlds, really. Section 5. Copy that face, strike that pose, identity and pose control, getting the face you want and the pose, that's often the holy grail in AI image generation. It can be tricky, but comfy UI with the right nodes gives you incredible power here. This is where our specialized models and reference images truly shine. Let's talk identity first. The node is your friend here. It takes two main things. First, your reference face image, that clear shot of the face you want. Second, it uses the we loaded earlier. The node processes the face image. It then spits out an embedding. Think of this embedding as a digital fingerprint. It's a compact representation of that specific person's facial identity. Now for the pose. We use a node, like, or a more general pose extractor. This node looks at your control pose image, whether it's a photo, a stick figure, or an open pose map. It analyzes the structure, the limb positions, the head tilt. It then creates a pose map or a set of key points. This data precisely describes the desired posture. Why are these embeddings and maps so important? They guide the model. This is how we achieve that high level of control. It's all about giving the AI the right information. Section 6, bringing it all together. Infusion, sampling, and the grand finale. All right, the moment of truth is approaching. We've loaded our models. We've prepared our input images. Florence 2 has given us a prompt. We've extracted the ID embedding and the pose data. All the ingredients are ready. Now it's time to mix them all together. And then, we cook up our final image. This is where all that setup pays off. The star of this stage is often a node-like. This is where the UNET, our main image generator, gets all its guidance. It takes the ID embedding from our reference face. It takes the pose data from our control image. 
and of course it considers the text prompt, intelligently blends these. It conditions the UNET to respect all these different control signals simultaneously. Before the UNET can work its magic with InfuseNet, our image to transform needs to be in latent space. So it first goes through a VAE encode node. Then this latent representation along with the prompt and control signals goes to the K-sampler. The K-sampler is the diffusion engine. Key parameters here are seed, steps, CFG scale, sampler underscore name, and critically for IMG2 IMG denoise. After the K-sampler has done its iterative denoising process, we get a latent image, but we can't see that. So it goes through a VAE decode node. This converts the latent masterpiece back into a regular pixel image, and boom, your controlled IMG2 IMG creation is complete.